and I'm joined by Peach Bowl Conference Player and Setter of the Year, Ashley Seal. And Ashley, let's first talk about the regular season tournament. It was a big match here at home against Flagler. You won the road, you got it done. Talk a bit about being the Peach Bowl regular season champions. Um, being the regular season champions is obviously such a big accomplishment. We just worked really hard in practice to prepare for that game mentally and physically, and it worked out well. Now, it was a big moment really heading into the Peach Bowl Conference Tournament when you were the number one ranked team in the region. So you knew going into the Peach Bowl Conference Tournament, not only did you want to win the tournament to get the title, but to also, also host this regional. Right. Um, it definitely was a little bit of pressure going into it, being number one, you know, and at Flagler's, um, you know, gym and everything. But we knew what we had to get done, and we just took it game by game and really focused on what we needed to and made it work. Um, yeah, that fifth set was definitely tough, but um, Flagler came out wanting it, and I think we as a team just worked really well together and proved, you know, that we wanted it. You could tell everyone on the court was working hard and, you know, putting balls away and picking balls up, and it was just really an exciting match for all of us. All right, Ashley, now you host the NCAA Regional. It's the first time that Armstrong has ever hosted the NCAA Regional. Give us a little glimpse of the mood of the team, knowing that they'll be playing at home with the chance to go to the Elite Eight. Uh, when we found out last night at 10, everyone was texting each other, so excited. Um, just that it's the first time it's ever ha happened, and the history of Armstrong is just a lot of momentum, and everyone just can't wait for it to begin. We've had three goals all year, and that was you know, to win the regular season, uh, to win the conference tournament and then to win the region. And now with us hosting, um, we've given ourselves every opportunity to do that and we just got to go out there and play, you know, three good matches against three quality opponents and and see what happens. Coach Condon, let's talk about the progression of your team this year. Early on the season had some results that were good, but some results that weren't so good. Made a lineup change and it really seemed to pay dividends more as the season went along and you got into the Peach Bowl Conference schedule. Well, one thing that we've been stressing with this team all along is, well, I mean, we knew we were good, we knew we had talent, uh, we knew we had athletic ability, size, and experience, but it, it seemed like early on that we weren't necessarily having that much fun. We always felt like we had two really good setters in Ashley and Megan, so using this lineup gave us an opportunity to, to um, use a little bit more from everybody, and I think that you know, for, for whatever reason, it seemed to work really well, and I think we have more fun doing this rotation than we did with the one we started with. So our fans have been amazing. They've been supportive. They've been, they've shown up. But not only that, they're at the games. They're active. They're loud. They're involved. And, and it's, it's a huge advantage knowing that you have that. We're just very happy to be here, and we hope that the fans continue to support us. Armstrong hosts the NCAA Division II Southeast Regional beginning on Thursday, November 29th, going through Saturday, December 1st. The Pirates will be the number one seed in the regional and will play at 730 against Belmont Abbey. Matches on Thursday start at noon.